video today we're talking about the Golf 7R once more we're talking about the EA888 and MQB platform leading up to this video I've been the bearer of bad news with all of the shortcomings and the weak points in the journal bearing version of the IS38 in the various guises that you find it so you'll find hybrid upgrades where you've got a stock standard turbocharger with a larger compressor wheel machined into the compressor housing and obviously all the inherent problems that you find with those types of upgrades um, then you have the very well widespread and well-known uh, hybrids which they call some people would call them a stage 3 some people would call it a stage 3 plus once again bolt on in the original housings machined rotating assembly with a TDO6 turbine wheel and a larger compressor, billet compressor, however utilizing the standard bearing housing, standard bearing system, and standard shaft dimensions inside. Total failure, you cannot boost very high with those things. They are not reliable whatsoever. Check my other videos for all the, the detailed information, and uh, you can get up to speed as to where we are with this video. That's if you haven't already seen those videos. This video is the fix for all of those shortcomings weak points and failure potentials one of the fixes that we have for the is38 this is the most powerful is38 bolt-on turbocharger you will find in the world today designed assembled balanced in-house at turbo direct this turbocharger is designed for abuse this turbocharger, tur turbocharger is designed to run any format of racing, whether it be a street car, a circuit car, rally, anti-lag, boost control, launch control, punishment, three bar boost, four bar boost, whatever you choose to do with this turbocharger, it is bulletproof. It does not have a journal bearing internal rotating assembly that can be damaged from an overboost or a high boost setup. It is capable of producing around 700 horsepower and it is 100% bolt-on. It looks like the original, from the outside physical dimensions, it looks like the original IS38 in terms of the design of the compressor housing, the position of the compressor housing, the turbine housing, etc. But if you look closely, which you'll see shortly, uh, you'll see some very, very close up, very nice pictures of the actual turbine housing. This is not a standard turbocharger or turbine housing. This is not a Chinese copy of the turbine housing. This is not a Chinese copy with just turbo on it in, and they've taken off the IHI housing. This is an entirely new, larger AR, larger AR turbine housing. And for those of you who are quite clever and quite well versed in turbochargers, You'll see a close-up uh, close picture just now. Have a look at the rotating assembly inside here. And you might pick up that this is a genuine Garrett GTX 3071 Gen 2 turbocharger or rotating assembly inside of a stainless steel investment cast turbine housing, larger AR compressor housing designed to be abused, designed to be reliable, designed to make 700 horse provided your engine can consume the flow that this turbocharger can provide, and it will. Provided your clutches will handle it and your intake manifold is upgraded and you have supporting hardware mods and you've got a decent intercooler. Try to stay away from the twin cooler setups. There's a reason for that. We'll go into that in another video. Just get yourself a really, really decent, high efficiency, low pressure drop intercooler. Um, we have a direct bolt-on version coming out really, really soon. So stay tuned for that. This turbocharger is sold without the diverter valve. It is sold without the axial electronic wastegate that you have to transplant off of your existing IS38. It comes with a muffler delete and it comes with an upgraded air intake, uh, air intake pipe, which obviously bolts onto the air intake. So this turbocharger is, in short, 700 horse capable, reliable, at any boost pressure, with whatever tuning you want to do. Your engine will fail before you break this turbocharger. The bearing system failures as a result of high boost have been addressed and overcome. You no longer have a journal bearing setup in here. 
We have another video which we'll be launching in the next day or so about our upgraded thicker shafts and completely redesigned bearing system inside of our journal bearing offering, which obviously is at a different price bracket and a lower horsepower capability than this specific ball bearing setup. That will be for another video. Uh, we currently we're currently busy assembling and balancing those turbo chargers, so that will come soon. Right now, let me give you some close-up pictures of this specific turbocharger to whet your appetite. Turbo Direct is the only company at the moment that manufactures a larger AR turbine and compressor housing, completely redesigned investment cost stainless steel turbine housing, and incorporates a GTX 3071 Gen 2 rotating assembly in that guys with those combination housings. There are other guys, I know that there's gonna be comments flying around and you guys can't wait to start commenting. Oh, but I've seen a GTX 28 and a GTX 3076 and a GTX 35 and a G G25 and whatever else inside of uh, a bolt-on setup. They are not larger AR housings. They cannot flow the increased demand or the increased flow that the rotating assembly provides. This can, that's the difference. Guys, enjoy, thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you guys think, any questions, any comparisons that you'd like me to do, let me know. Yes, I know you're gonna ask us to please show us what it does in the dyno, hang fire. We're busy building an engine at the moment with Mali Motorsport Pistons, and uh, obviously ARPs throughout, and we're gonna be upgrading the clutches as well. So stay tuned, some exciting things coming soon.